Welcome. With me today is Evangelist Mike Bamiloye. He is a founder of Mount Zion Faith Ministries. He is a visionary and an evangelist who evangelizes through the world through the medium of Christian drama and film production. To the Jews, I became a Jew that I might gain the Jews. And to those who are under the law, as under the law, that I might gain those who are under the law. Paul said he became all things unto all men, that he might by all means save some. That um, sir, to join us on concert. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can you please tell us a little about yourself? I am um, Evangelist Mike Bamiloye, the president of Mozion Faith Ministries, the director of Mozion Films Production. I'm also um, the chairman board of trustees, All Nigerian Conference of Evangelical Drama Ministers. It's an association comprising drama ministers in Nigeria. We spread all over the country. I'm into drama ministry and Christian film production. And that is the work I do. And, uh, and that is um, what I can say about myself for now. Can you tell us the foundation of Mount Zion Ministry? Yes, the Mount Zion Faith Ministry began in 1985. And it has always been about Christian drama and film production. And it began 1985, falling into production of Christian drama. We were going from church to church at the initial stage. But it was in 1990 that we began the Christian um, film production. The ministry began with drama. It was actually an offshoot of the Campus Christian Fellowship Drama Group. And that was where I began. But in 1985, it came out as a ministry. But 1990, we began film production. And then, and then, and then even, even, with, even as long as we, we kept on doing the stick drama, but the film production began then, and it has been going up from that time up till now. So that was how we started. We, we, the ministry presently now is like a family ministry. Mm. Um, because we have husband and wife, husband and wife, and our children are involved inside the ministry. The members actually in the Mozambique Faith Ministry are just 16. And then, but um, in the process of making films and uh, shooting Christian film production, we involve um, drama ministers from other drama ministries and the uh, um, film production ministries. And so because of the interaction, the networking and the working together, that is why many times you see some people in Mozambique films, you see them in other films. So eventually, many Christian films become Mozambique films, <laughs> even when it is not from Mozambique. Now, what motivated you into going into Christian movie production? Hey, at the beginning, we started with stage drama presentation. We went to stage drama presentation from church to church. But when we started at that time, 1985, 1986, 87, at that time there was, mm, there was, there was nothing like um, the Christian themes the way we have it now. What was existing at that time was just the secular movies, or not even the videotape movies, all those movies uh, of the cinema. At that time, the Yoruba movies of Aye, Jaye, Sina, so on and so forth. All those ones are the ones existing at that time. It was not video, it was not CD. But inside of us, we desire that the Lord will use us to do something for God. And an alternative that people can watch that comprises of the Word of God that the families can sit down and watch things that, movies that can bring souls to God, that can heal wounds, that can restore lives. That was our desire. We wanted it like that. And so, um, the, 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 the Lord ministered into the roles and led us into um, going into, into film production. But the way it started actually was that it started accidentally because when we wanted to do it, we wanted to make movies in 1987, it didn't work because we didn't have the knowledge at that time. So we labored so much, we did something, but it, it was not good. But one of the major drama of Mount Zion, Unprofitable Servant, was just like an experiment. 
shot into a movie and to be, that was projected on a television station in Lagos here. Yeah. And so when it was done, it was then we saw that, okay, we've made the movie. Oh, this is a movie. Made. Because somebody asked us to do it so that they can sponsor it on television. So when it was in pro, when it was in, when it was in sponsor that it was shown on television, it then it done on us. Okay, we've made the movie. And that was 1990. That was how it started. Okay, so what is Mount, Mount Zion Television? What is it all about? Okay. Mozambique Television is what is starting now. It's about showing purely dedicated to Christian movies and drama and anything related to Christian films and drama, like um, the makings of Christian films. We have, been, we have been seen on our television the makings of different types of movies, like secular movies, we've been seeing that before. But we have not been seeing the makings of Christian movies. And even a lot of people didn't even know what the movie, but they don't know what they go through behind the movie. And so that was, apart from showing Christian themes, showing Christian drama and, uh, on, on, on the television, things relating to drama like the makings, documentaries, interviews of Christian drama ministers and music artists, and uh, Christian music artists, so in, all those relating to it, but purely. Mozambique Television is a 24-hour Christian movie channel and it's first of its kind in Africa. Aside from the makings of the movies, what will these programs, how will these programs influence the society? Oh, already even before we started Mozambique Television, Mozambique movies, other Christian movies, which people call Mozambique films, have been on many television channels. And it has, been, it has been helping a lot of people. For example, a lot of families are not, they are, they are not comfortable watching a lot of the secular films that is existing presently because of the violence inside, the, the, the show of immorality inside. Uh, a lot of parents are not comfortable with their children watching many of these movies. And, 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 and so that is where there is a demarcation and a separation between the Christian movie that is going to be showing on uh, Mozambique television and others. And so it's going to benefit society because parents can now leave their children to watch Mozambique television because it's going to be full of inspiring messages and edifying messages yes. and, the, and the character molding messages. So they cannot be afraid for the children to sit and be watching. Apart from that, as time goes on in Mozambique television, they're going to introduce Christian cartoons also for the children. So they're going to have programs that children can watch. I was, I was going to ask you how the Monsanto TV will be different from other TV, other TV stations, which you have already, yeah. which you've already said. Now, why is Monsanto TV coming at this time? I believe it is constant. Actually, we have had it in mind for a long time, though it, was, it, it wasn't starting as a television. But Monsanto movies are, are, are found on many television channels, not only in Nigeria, even outside Nigeria in Ghana, in Kenya, in Zambia, in South Africa, in Europe. Many television stations have Mozambique films, they would a show. And therefore, people have been benefiting through these movies because it is a defined, because it has the character building, character molding messages inside. But there has not been a 24-hour Christian movie channel yet. There had not been. We have Christian music channels. We have channels that talks about cooking. We have channels that talk about football. We have channels that talks about fashion. We have different type of channels. Even channels that talks about babies. <laughs> we have different type of channels we have. So talks about, about shoes, shoes, buying and selling. We have. But there had never been a channel dedicated to showing of Christian movies before. So we believe it is time for us to have it because People are beginning to ask for it. Families are beginning to ask for it. A lot of people, at times, some families don't like watching um, the contemporary, the normal movies again because anytime, anytime they can come across things that they, they will not like their children to see. So many, many, some families have shut down. They don't want to because they've been asking, when are we going to begin to watch things that we can be comfortable with? So we've discovered that it is time. Now it is time. So we believe that it is time now People are clamoring for it. The people want it. And it is time that we begin to have a channel that we can sit down with 
watching movies that can make us to fear God and uh, have respect for God and build up our character. For the way of the ungodly shall perish. Jesus! Yabo! Tell me! You better stop this nonsense! Stop what? Yabo! <laughs> you better stop this! I am not going to stop! I won't stop until you tell me where you're coming from! Why are you here? Why are you in the midst of these people, tell you? Why did you choose to move away from the grace and shelter of God and expose yourself to attacks of the devil? The future of the um, Christian movie industry in Nigeria, Africa and the world. The future of Christian movie industry, the future of it, I would say the future is very bright. For example, when you begin to have one or two more complaints from people, you, if, if, you look at, if you look at foreign movies, 70% of foreign movies, maybe Hollywood movies, you can, you, you can be sure of a, 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 a show, show or manifestations of violence, many of these movies. If, if a movie, if, if inside the movie there have not been burning down of houses, bombing of cars, earthquake, and their destructions, then that movie cannot be a blockbuster. But a lot of this type of things does not build our characters. A lot of violence is being learned in, in many of these foreign movies. And then coming down to our own movies in Africa, many, I'm not saying all, but many of the movies that we produce today is full of indecency and immorality. Before, it was being hidden, but now it's becoming very open. Um, indecency is becoming open and wrong fashion in our movies is becoming open. A, 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 lot, a, lot, of, a lot of wrong fashion is, is being displayed in our movies that is giving our youth wrong direction. And, and so it is making a lot of people to begin to get fed up, particularly parents. So therefore, Christian movie becomes an alternative to this. Inspiring movies, um, movies that show that shows um, character building and fear of God and decency and, uh, and, and that instill fear of God into the heart of youths and children becomes an alternative to all this. So that makes it, a it makes the future of it is very bright. Yeah. Talking about that, um, did you put into consideration what is happening around our environment nowadays, I mean, the society at large? Do you consider putting into consideration how we will impact this also into our Christian movies? Sure. An ideal Christian movies is a mirror of the society. And far beyond that, it gives solution to societal problems. So when we're talking about Christian movies, we're not talking about drama from the Bible. We are talking about Christian movies. We are not talking about biblical movies. We are not talking about biblical drama. We are not talking about the story of Joseph and his brothers, and Daniel and Nebuchadnezzar. We are talking about contemporary movies that is shot and made with the word of God inside it. So it is still about the society. The problems of society is being addressed inside the movie, and solutions are given inside the movies. That is what makes an ideal Christian movie. So, why do you choose concert platform? Ah, a very, very hard question. Well, I will only give one reason. I think concerts um, accept us. They accept to showcase Christian movies. They accept to have 24-hour Christian movie channel on, on their, their platform. platform. Because, because we have approached some other places before and uh, they were not readily available. And so we believe that the way with which the concert are accepted, they saw the vision, and they accept the vision to start it, and it, it gives us the freedom, and the joy, and the readiness to work together with concerts at this time. How do you feel having um, the first 24 hours Christian movie channels in Africa? In Africa? Ah, I feel so happy, so fulfilled. We have been doing it for a long time. We've been making movies available for various type of televisions because we want the word of God to go out. But to have the 24-hour Christian movie channel, first of its kind in Africa, 
at this time. It gladdens my heart. And it is not only me. I think it is the joy of a lot of people. It's the joy of the Church of God, the joy of people in the street who want to have an alternative, something to watch. Things that they can be sure will edify their spirit and build them up spiritually. So it's a great joy to us. I'm very, very happy, so fulfilled. I believe it's going to expand. This is a starting point, and it's going to keep expanding. And yeah, first of its kind in Africa, probably in Europe, probably in America too. <laughs> Thank you very much. We're, you. we're very happy to have you all here Thank with you. us Thank on you. concert. Thank, Thank you, you very much.